Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at dynamically populating lists. Um, so um, in the last tutorial we created a list like this and this is statically populated from um, strings that exist here. There's like a string array here in the strings.xml and the values are kind of hard coded into the list here. But often what you want to do with a list is you want to um, populate it with the results of some kind of query or something. And um, I'm sure we'll touch on that again later, but we'll, we'll take the first important step there by populating this um, list with um, using like programmatically instead of using hard-coded values. So I'm going to go into my, um, my uh, layout here. So let's go to activity main.xml and I'm going to get rid of this um, Android entries option here. So let's get rid of this and um, I'm going to, I still want to use those entries actually, um, so I'm going to just retrieve that array of strings as an actual Java array here in my set list listener code. So um, to do that, I'm going to say here string array, and let's let's call this string array values, and I'm going to use a method of activity called get uh, resources, and get resources allows you to um, having code completion problems here, but get resources allows you to get um, resources like uh, string values, for example. And I'm going to use a method that actually returns a resources object, I think it is. If I hover the mouse over here, it returns resources object. And uh, I'm going to just use uh, method chaining here uh, rather than declaring a separate resources object. And I'm going to say get string array. And to get string array, I just pass the value from r.java. So r.array. Uh, List options is uh, is the name that I give to gave to the array in strings.xml, and that will get me a literal array of strings. Now to transform that array of strings from an array to um, a bunch of list items, I can use a class called um, array adapter. Um, so I'm going to declare an array adapter and I'm going to say that I'm going to pass it um, strings here and um, let's add the import there with control shift O and I'm going to call this adapter and I'll set that equal to a new array adapter and I need to pass some values to the constructor here and the first uh, value I'm going to pass is going to be um, the context uh, context is an interface that activities implement and so I'm just going to pass this here to pass in the activity and uh, let's just um, look at the constructors for a minute here and I want to use this three argument form of the um, constructor for reasons that we'll see in a minute and for the second argument here I'm going to pass the value android android.r.layout.r simple list item one which we'll come back to in a second and the final value is the um, array of values that I want to use in my list and I'll just um, oh yeah it's called values not value there we go so that's all working and then um, we'll return to this in just a second but what I'm going to do now is once I've got my list I'm going to say list.set adapter set adapter and I'm going to pass it this adapter that I've just created and um, so I've I haven't got the hard coded values here anymore but um, they are um, I am now getting them from the XML and setting them on the list and just to kind of prove the point um, just for a moment here let's change the first value so I'll change it from Bob to um, let's have um, the first value here, index 0. I'll change this from Bob to Zeus. And let's run this. And I'll check that it's working. Let's have a look at the console. Yeah, it is installing it in the emulator. 
Now, um, so context is pretty straightforward here and the values is pretty straightforward. And by the way, um, the great thing is that if you look at the different constructors that array adapters got, you'll see that you can also supply an array list here. So it doesn't have to be an array. I'm just using an array here because this is convenient, but this will take list values. So if you query something on uh, on a mobile phone and you get it back into an array list or a linked list or something, you can supply the values here. And um, now this value here, this is actually a predefined um, layout in Android. It's an XML layout. And um, you'll notice that um, I'm not using r.layout because that would refer to my own r.java file. And I don't want to do that. I'm using a predefined constant here from android.r.layout. And this simple list item is a XML layout that um, just lays out kind of one um, text item in your list. So, um, so that will do for here. And if we look at it now, it looks exactly the same as before, except that my, uh, my values here are dynamically populated. And of course, I can change them. And as I say, I could use an array list that I've created myself here instead of this array. So that's it for this tutorial. And in the next tutorial, we're going to look at how you can actually create your own array adapter. And you can put all kinds of fancy um, things uh, as items into your list. Um, and you can, you can lay out your list items however you want and use icons and things like that. So we'll look at that in the next tutorial. And that's it for this time. And until next time, happy coding.